All right, so if you were trying to file your taxes using TurboTax e-file and you kept getting it rejected and it popped up um, after you open your TurboTax again, it basically tells you that um, the AGI or adjusted gross income was incorrect and it didn't match um, the IRS records or something, so they tell you to enter it again. Um, if you follow their stuff, it'll lead you to this IRS website if you don't have it on the TurboTax website. So you would say like um, you didn't file it through TurboTax because it only works through TurboTax if you did it through the online account, not through the software. So what I had to do was I had to go to the IRS website, which was the way saying that I didn't file it through TurboTax. And then they let you select like your the reason is adjusted gross income. You select the year 2019, so not the 20, you want the one the year before, so 2019, not 2020. And then um, if you search that document, you can search for adjusted gross income. It'll give you the number. Chances are the number in your TurboTax is already correct, um, but it's not going to work. So I tried resubmitting it, I think, twice, and it failed. So what I did, um, it says it's accepted right now. Um, this one is still pending because I just did this like a... Um, not even an hour, not even half an hour ago. So I'm surprised it's already showing accepted here. I figured I'd just check. But um, basically what you want to do is in the... So what I read around online, um, the AGI from last year is just used for the IRS to verify if you're the same person filing the taxes because it wants to make sure that whatever information you have will match their database. So basically, a random person can't just grab your taxes, fill out whatever, and then turn it in. They would have to have like your past tax return information. Um, but apparently, the database sometimes is screwed up or something, or it doesn't have it on file, or maybe if your taxes were submitted later, then it's not entered in their database. I don't know what what's going on. But I was looking around online and then someone said to enter zero dollars as the AGI because if their database doesn't have that information, then it will read it as zero dollars. So I entered zero dollars as the AGI. When I went back to edit it and read it again, um, it was asking a question like, did you file your return or something? So just do whatever option that says, yes, you filed your 2019 tax return and then continue with saying um, your AGI is zero dollars. I can't go through the process anymore because it already submitted and accepted. Um, but that's what you got to do. Just select zero dollars for your AGI in TurboTax um, and then just submit your e-file again. And hopefully, if you're lucky, your case will be like mine and it will go through just fine. If it doesn't work and it still gets rejected, then sadly, you're going to have to print it all out and then mail it in. Um, but other than that, hopefully this video helps some of you guys. Um, I was scratching my head. I was like, what is wrong with this thing? I filled out everything. TurboTax said everything's correct. AGI matched. I even looked at the... Um, numbers that the IRS themselves had on file. So I was like, there's no way it's wrong. So I don't know how or why, but putting zero dollars worked. And yeah, so I have a feeling maybe they don't have their database updated, especially since COVID is screwing everything up. So yep, hopefully this thing helped. And it could be also because I don't remember if I did, I might have filed after the April, um, deadline because they extended it because of covid so it might be the same thing with 2020 because now we're submitting it people are submitting after april 15th they're doing it in may so it could be that's what's going on but anyways again hopefully this video helped you guys if it did please like subscribe i know this isn't usually what my channel content is about but hopefully it will um help other people and yeah i'll see you guys in another video Bye. And of course, after I start uploading the video, it actually shows both are accepted. So that's it. Bye.